It is now very simple to edit your videos without worrying about heavyweight and expensive softwares that gives the same result as the minimalistic one including the mini tool movie maker. I know the keyword movie maker links a bear and it reminds you back in the days when we were using a movie maker to uh, edit our videos where we have no flexibility about on how to format our videos in the way that we need and the video quality from the software was very low. That's why today I'm going to show you how to edit your videos by using the mini tool movie maker and it will be in simple steps so everyone can edit the videos for himself or herself and he can go out and shine. So let's go straight to the point. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris aka the IT guy and I'm going to be the one who is going to lead you through this journey. So let's have fun. So if your browser opened, you can go ahead and try mini tool movie maker like this one and press enter. And the first thing that will come will be from moviemaker.minitool.com. That's the link that we are going to aim for. And you can get this tool uh, for free. And if you want to get it straight away, you can go in the description. There is the link that I will put there. Click on the link, then you will be having the same page as I'm having on here. So no hesitation, go ahead and click on free download. And in this case, it will give you now the file to download. And then it will start downloading. And after now it's done downloading, you can go ahead and start the installation. Installation is pretty straightforward. It's like next, next. And I'm going to close my browser window to have a clean workspace so, I, so as to be able to show you what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and open the mini tool movie maker. And with no other problems where you perform the installation and the night was successful, you will be having the same screen like this one. And if you, when you take a closer look, you can see that there will be where to create a new project if you, you didn't create one before. And you can also go to the movie templates. You can see all the pre-made templates that you can start from and it can facilitate your work. You can go to these tabs and you can see what's going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this as we're going to start with a new workspace and it will be looking like this one. You can see that you get a bunch of uh, parts. You can see to get these prepared parts where you can see on what you're doing. There's this timeline where you will put your clips and then organize them to make a cool video. They will be able to manage transitions, effects, text, motion, and elements. So I'm going to try to import some of the files and I'm going to show you what's going on here. So when I click on import media files to really go to my Windows uh, Explorer and I can go ahead and navigate to see where I've said I saved my files. In this case, it's in my documents. And there is these uh, movies, these scripts that are in the folder called Love Story. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and click Control, hold the Control, then select all these scripts. You can see they, they include the videos, the pictures, and the audios also. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. And to really import these scripts in your workplace and you can be able to go through all the other processes. So once the clips are now ready in our software, you can go ahead and hover over each one to see the preview on what clip that you have. And you can see the preview and this uh, pane and you can go ahead and arrange your files. So, so to, to bring the files to the timeline, you can go ahead and choose, for example, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to drag and drop on this timeline and you can say, okay, this is now the second video. I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to do for the fourth one. Let me do like this one. I'm going to do the, the fourth and then let me uh, put also this one. So we can go ahead and deduce the time run by using these controllers. Or you can drag this up here to see if now this is getting smaller as you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, also input some of the picture. And I'm going to show you some more of the cool stuff in here that you can try by using this movie maker. So there will be these controls where you can go ahead and reduce the uh, size of the, the file on the timeline or the duration of the, the clip on the timeline. So I'm going to zoom for a bit to have like a clear uh, overview on what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this for a bit. As you are seeing, it's now smaller and it will take like one or two seconds. Uh, we, we, we don't need to make the boring stuff. That's why I'm going to make this short and neat. So I'm going to go ahead also and show you another feature where you can uh, use this uh, play head. You see there will be this cut or the split, this kind of scissor. You can go ahead and click on this one to split your clip into two parts or three. It depends on what you will choose. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of the parts that I don't like on the timeline. And we are performing a simple cut. We, when you pray, you can see that I was able to perform a simple cut. I'm going to delete these two. 
and I'm going to make this as short as possible. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to cut this, delete, and I'm going to make this as short as possible so as to never bore anyone who is going to watch our clip. So I'm going to, to remain with this one. So there is also another option to trim when you go here and you, you go on you click on this trim, you will be there will be a lot of trim options for full spread. When you click on here, you will see there will be a lot of options to try from. So, and uh, after we are done adding our video clips, you can go ahead and add your audio clips. We can see where there is an audio clip here. You can go ahead and drag it on the track on the timeline. And in this case, we have also this audio track. And where we see here, you can go ahead also and uh, add the uh, other empty track to have like a work press that you can use in a, a flexible way. And I'm going to show you on how to add the transitions. For example, if you want to move from one video to another one and you perform the transition, when you go to transition part, there will be a lot of transition that you can choose from. When you hover on it, you will see there will be the preview on how, on how it look like. I'm going to use, for example, this one. Okay, this, I'm going to drag it here. And when you take a closer look to the property here, you can go ahead and choose it if you want it to prefix, to, to come before the clip, to come in between, or you want it to come after the clip. So I'm going to keep, to keep on choosing the overwrap. And you can choose the duration of this by reducing this knob. And when you click and pray, uh, let me move the play head here. When you play, you can see that he was able to perform this transition. And it looks really nice like this one. You can spend some of the time during the editing to have your clips more, more, more realistic. And so far, so good. So after we have seen on how to add the transitions, we can go ahead and apply the same transition on all of these clips, or you, you can change any transition that you want according to the clip that you reached on. There is, or there is also another option for adding the effect. Adding the effect is like when you want the clip to look the way you want. For now it look like natural, you can go ahead and add some more effects to make it look the way you need. For example, let me say I want to add this effect. You can go ahead and drag and drop to this clip. And in this case, so let's see if it's downloaded, you can go ahead and Add on this clip, you will see that it will bring you all these controls and you can go ahead and mess around to see how now this is looking. You can see that it was oversaturated because I, I trickled on the saturation too much. You can go ahead and reduce it or you can make it like black and white. The, when you, you, you remove all the saturation amount, it will be like black and white. So I'm going to go ahead and remain it on five. Yeah, it, it's cool to me. And also after seeing on how to add effects, there will be a lot of effects that you can try from, you can go ahead and navigate through them. You can also you, uh, add a text to your video clips and I'm going to go ahead and click on text. And it will bring all the text that I can choose from. There will be all the collections, there will be all the captions, the credits and the titles. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, for example, I'm going to add a caption and I'm going to choose let me see, okay, this, this looks amazing. I'm going to put it here and it will be here. And I'm going to put some text, for example, love of my life, like this one. And I can go ahead and move it by using this one. And I'm going to remain it here, like this one. For now, it looks amazing. When you try to do like this one, you can see that it was able to add the text in the way that you need. And the other thing that we have to look on is the adding the motion. For example, if I'm having this photo, like this one, when I'm going to this photo, you can see that, that it is very static and it is not looking realistic. I'm going to go ahead and add some motion to make it like moving and to seem like the, it is a, a part of the video. I'm going to go to the motion uh, and I'm going to add, for example, this one. Cool, I'm going to drag it and drop it here. I'm going to play to see how it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks like it is a video. Also on the audio, there is some options that you can use to fade in and to fade out. If you want your video to, uh, your audio to, to, like, to tell a story. For example, if now I'm going to 
come up with the clip, I want it to come like in a smooth way and if I want the clip to fade away, it will like go like small, slowly, slowly fading away and it will add like that cinematic effect to your clip. So I'm going to go ahead and add like fade out. I'm going to choose, for example, let me choose like four seconds. And for the fading, I'm going to choose like three seconds. You can also reduce the volume in here, the volume of your clip, of course. And these are the settings that you need to tweak. And there is also uh, some point when you need to add like video elements. For example, if I'm, I'm, I'm making a love story, when I go to the elements, you can see there will be a lot of stuff. But when I go to the love and wedding, you can see there will be a lot of uh, collection to choose from. For example, if I'm going to choose this heart, you can go ahead and drag and I'm, I'm going to download it then. Drag and drop to your timeline like this and then we are good to go. You can brand this with the caption and it can look like, oh my God, this is good. All right. And this is like pretty much of it that we will find in this miniature movie maker. You can go ahead and move around by using all the controls that I showed you here. The last step that we are going to do is to export our clip to see if it is working or not. So to export the clip, you go on the export button and it will bring you a dialogue on where to choose from the name of your clip. Like here, I'm going to call this like uh, my love story, for example, my love story. And the format, there will be this MP4. You can go ahead and choose from this one. You can see it will also have this MKV and you can go ahead and click on MP4 and there will be the settings. There will be a bunch of uh, quality to choose from. There's the best quality, there's the better quality and there's the good quality. And once you click on the best quality, you can see that there will be, the resolution will change in the bit rate. And you, when you go to the better, you can see that it is now changing as we toggle around. So I'm going to choose the best quality and I'm going to choose where it will be saved. For example, I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and click on save and then export. So I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds for this export to be complete. And then we we'll see now if our clip is, go is, is going to be played the way it was looking in our software. So let's give it a go and see. Fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead and close this one and minimize. And on my desktop, you can see that I am having this file called Love Story. I'm going to open the VRC media player or any media player that you can use to can play this clip like little where. I'm going to drag and drop here. And you can see that our clip is here now, like the way we edited it. And you can see that it was able to add all the features and all the elements that we need to add. And it was able to save our videos with no watermark. It's completely free. So go and give it a shot. I'm going to leave the link in the description where you can go and give it a shot and try. So this marks the end of this video. I hope you did have like fun doing this editing and you have seen that this mini tool movie maker is very minimalistic and you can go ahead and try it to facilitate all your work like every day so let me know in the comments did you like it or not i know you liked it so the thumbs up if you liked it and if you're coming on the channel for the first time make sure you subscribe and from now until next time i will see you guys in the next one peace